to give love a start with me. Oh, wait, no, not that, that, that. Okay, um, I probably shouldn't have started this particular video listening to Stacey Kent and Jim Tomlinson doing so nice vocals because this is gaming time. We're fucking gaming guns and girls with bunny ears. And this is the Mayflower Arc Mark II. And as of this moment, it is the closest thing competing with an external sound card that I found. And that's important because you're an audiophile, you don't give a fuck. You just, you buy your amps, you buy your DACs, you buy that, and you're satisfied with that. The problem is when gamers come in and gamers are like, but I want a game, bro, I need my microphone and my headset so I can be like, like in the game. And I'm just like, I don't give a shit. But some people give a shit. So this is me giving a shit, and this is Mayflower seeing an opportunity to combine audiophilia and gamophilia morphilias. That's how it looks. Um, so the Mark II, I reviewed the Mark I long time ago, long time ago. And what the Mark I did was solve a problem where if you plugged in a microphone, it would ground out separately. If you did it separate, if you did a sound card or your onboard audio, and then you had a separate DAC, there'd be separate grounds. And it tried to fix that by putting a loop through and shut up. The new Mark II, we should look at, and then I can tell you how that fixes it. Because the new Mark II can be entirely powered off of USB and act as a sound card via USB and it's not only output sound, but also has a microphone input. That's why this, which is my uh, Bear Dynamic MMX 300, which is the only uh, quote unquote headset here because a microphone is built in and the wire carries the microphone signal down to the four pin connection the four pole connection, four pole connection. And the front of this unit takes it, and if I do this, uh, and then, well, then I do th this, th then you can see it recording the microphone. So I've got every hole filled, which is what Zeos likes in his reviews. I like to fill every hole, uh, except for one, which we'll get to, where, well, let me, let me, let me, Pause. Yeah, break. It's probably going to break. Actually, it did stop. Interesting. The front of this unit is as follows. A DSP toggle on and off, and there's a mode light. Um, I'd like to point out this is the first unit that can also operate as a fucking flashlight. That power white LED, negative three points. Um, the mode one is blue. It also looks like a little light bulb in there. That's crazy. Like they're, they're insanely bright. And I'd highly, rec I'd highly recommend putting something over them. They are bright. Just shove, shove clay in there. So you get a DSP selector. Now the DSP does some, some base changes and some room changes. We'll get to that. I actually like the way it sounds. We'll get to it. So you got DSP mode, which is that power, which is the whitest bright white, pure cool white LED that's ever existed ever on a device. Then you have this switch which uh, has a picture of an RCA, slightly off-centered, because I don't know if there exists in like windings. And that lets you switch from the headphone output to the RCA output. So if you have computer speakers on your desk or a tube amp or something else outside, you hit that, it stops outputting from the front, it starts outputting to the back, you can use speakers. In this case, I have it outputting to that 789, which is running those blonde B20s. And I'm gonna plug those into here in a bit too. Uh, but that lets you switch. It's a switchable output on the back. It isn't just all the time. It's switchable. You get a very nice volume knob, smooth rubber uh, rubber bands in the front, much nicer than the old um, Mayflower stuff. And you shut it off. You literally click it off, which I don't think that's breaking much there. Click it on. You get the white LED of death, the white signal LED of death, and then you have two three and a half millimeters, a microphone input, which. I don't have many microphones. I think I actually sold all my mod mics and things. So I'm going to be using this Olympus stereo one with an extension, just to give a demo on that. And then a picture of a headset, not a headphone. If it was just a headphone, it would just be a headphone, but the headset, which means it is capable of taking a four pin connection, such as the one that comes default on the MMX 300s and pulling apart, sending audio out and taking microphone in. So it's borrowing from the next side. The back of this unit, 
I really should unplug some of it just so you can see a little better, just a little better. So here's your RCA outputs, only output, not input. You have a switch next to that, USB, um, PS, and OPT. So USB means USB from a computer. PS means PlayStation 4. It actually is PlayStation 4 compatible. I don't have a PlayStation 4 here, so that's why setting it to PS doesn't do anything. And then optical. So I have it set to USB currently. This blue USB is connected to my laptop here. It detects this device immediately. It becomes a sound device and a recording device, which is why I can get Audacity to record from it. Um, this three and a half millimeter here has two functions. It's either an auxiliary in or a microphone out. So just like the original ARC, it will also pass through the microphone. So even if you have a headset like this and you plug it into here to use as your amplifier, if you're not running at USB, because you can run this off an optical, which I'm going to demonstrate in the future, you take a three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter auxiliary cable, you plug it from here to the back of your computer, to your onboard, to your normal microphone input, boom, done. I am in this case using it, however, as an auxiliary in because it's one of those rare occasions that you could have, and I haven't found this in nearly anything, and I'm so happy it's here. You could have the digital inputs of either one of these mix with an analog input. Right? Right? That, that's, that's fucking, that's rare, rare, without doing anything. You got a full-size USB, which I'm not unplugging, even though I could. There's a high-low gain switch, which I have, which is very precariously located between those. So if you don't have one of these plugged in, you can get to it. But I have it set to low gain currently. You get a full-size optical. And then an optional, not sold with it, doesn't come in a big box with the extra fucking 5-volt, an optional power supply. And they tout on the thing that if you use this with your PlayStation, you can go out and grab a USB power brick like this, and you can literally power this thing remotely with a USB power brick. So you could have it on your couch, on your dining room table. You could use your shit there and have quality stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to put that down for now, not lose that. For now, we're just going to power it off. This, In other words, if I had just optical into this, you can't run it. You need to have power. So you need to either do a battery pack or a phone charge or something like that. So let's go back to this, which is telling me Wasapi has broken because it's not working. Let's plug the, oof, let's plug this back in here so that I can get those blondes working. Down, we're nice, we're good. I'm gonna click X on this. Now, I love these headphones. Anyone who doesn't know about the MMX 300s, these are not just some rando headphone that Zeos doesn't quite like. And I love these headphones. And I don't have the DSP correction on with these. It weirds it out a little bit too much. But if I hit the record button again, as you can see, as, as you can see, the microphone does pass through it, USB into that. Right off the bat, money well spent. Now this unit is damn near $300. So it's not like it's a cheap alternative. This is not a $50, $100 unit. Mayflower is a small company and they're putting a lot of effort into making something like this. And they're charging for that. So now, while that's recording, I'm going to pause the music. You can see it's still recording in the background. God bless transparency on FUBAR. Um, this is an M11, just sort of chilling out over here. If I unpause it, we're now hearing the Zeta Slasher from Vector Sector. And I could lower that. Lower that. And I could unpause this. And they're both playing at the same time. So just that capability to have a digital, completely digital through DAC signal and then outputting the digital, perfect. And then to inject an analog signal, that's rare. Like a steak that's purple, rare, rare. I mean, 
you obviously wouldn't use it to listen to two music sources at the same time. That's just what I'm demoing here. But if you had uh, another computer doing voice chat or anything like that, you could just inject it. Boom. No way to control the volume mix. It's You have this on full. It's on full here. So you have to limit it at the source, but you can do it. Just like moments turn to hours. If I pause that. If I stop this, or stop, and I play it back, then you should hear... Then you can see it recording the microphone. So. Which, listening to myself while I'm talking to myself, while listening to myself, while recording to myself, super meta is happening. Um, we should probably take off this, which is a normal gaming headset. Because normal gaming headset, you can plug that into an Xbox controller. It's boring, or PlayStation... I'm sure it's fine. Um, let's hit that button. Now using the outputs. Now that will unfortunately not, I don't think, pass through this. You know, because we're accessing the DAC personally in that. That's the DAC. So nothing playing um, here will work analog because it feeds into the analog section. But now if I go Yoko Kano Rain... And it's not controllable. It's a full-time output. So, if you're thinking about getting studio monitors, you can't just hook studio monitors up to this and be done with it. You'd still need a volume control like a shit sis, or a JDS Lab sells the little, uh, I forget what you're called, the objective three? Subjective? Something. No, wait, that was a volume. Whatever. They sell a switcher. You'd still need a volume control if you're not, if you're going to something like if you go to something like Swans or powered monitors with a volume knob on them, you don't have to worry about it. This just means feed signal to my other thing, don't feed signal to my other thing. So feed signal to my other thing currently is this headphone amp. It's got its own volume control. I could deal with it. And listening to the DAC in this, which is essentially what I'm doing. And I've obviously assessed for a couple of hours, but it's like... Yes. Now, I had mentioned this in the iFi, IFI Zen DAC amp review. That's only $130. And that's a hell of a beast for what it is. This is not aiming to compete with that. This is specifically for gamers. You need the headset. You need the microphone input. The fact that it can also mux in an analog signal to the digital and output the digital analog signals through the headphone amplifier, that is a specialty thing. Now, let's take it out of here. Shut that off. Let's plug it into the headset output. Take off that switch, so now that's not being used. So now I have the volume all the way down this currently playing through there because it's passing through. I'm going to actually turn this off because so we don't need to mux any more audio. I'm going to unplug it too. So now we have got a very, very good set of planars hooked up to this. So what are we missing? Well, we're missing a microphone. So let's take... Now this is not the greatest example of a mic, but this is a clip-on mic, or it would be a clip-on mic if it had the clip to clip it on. I'm going to plug that in there. So now we have good headphone and microphone. We go back to this and I hit record. And we talk into this microphone. You can see the microphone's now working. Obviously I wouldn't be, I'd be great if you could play with one hand and a controller and you're holding the other microphone. I got this, Rogue Leader, Rogue Leader, hold on. Um, That would be interesting. So there, now I have, oh, now, now you're understanding it. That's where the audio file part of this comes in. You can take any headphone you want, because it's got very good numbers. Let me read some numbers. I know numbers are boring and I'm not ho now hiding the anime girl, but it puts out 92 milliwatts at 600 ohm, 365 milliwatts at 150 ohm, and a one watt, one watt on USB power. I don't even think that's possible, by the way at 32 ohms, with a total harmonic distortion plus noise of 0.003% on everything. Every Everything. The total harmonic distortion on 100 ohms is 0 0.0026. 
The frequency response curve is accurate to 0.05 decibels for the entire spectrum. And it's got a 0.096 ohm output impedance. If Creative Labs put this out, and Creative Labs have put out many things, it would cost less than this. It'd be 150 bucks, and it would be okay. But when Mayflower puts it out, and they take all the things they learned from the ODAC and the O2 and the Objective 1, and they shove that into this, you get audio file numbers, audio file power, audio file controls, and then, oh, by the way, it's for gamers. So, <laughs> yes. This will, if I do another gamer fidelity video, which by the way is like my most popular video, I made one video called gamer fidelity and everyone's sucking on its teats. Everyone is sucking on its teats, teats. The only thing I will say is that the volume control feels analog, but sounds digital. And by that, I mean, it's a slight delay. And I think I know why. Here, wait, wait. We have to now talk about the DSP. Yeah, like you go up and down, it's like a little bit like delayed. Like you can feel it doing that. I'm now turning on the DSP. And this is unforgettable by Nat King Cole. It mutes and comes back up. Ooh. I don't know exactly what it's doing. Like, I don't have a sheet or an explanation in words. This is my job now, to tell you what that button does. Now, I love these Blonde B20s, um, but they're still based on a very narrow headphone. They don't have the widest sound stage. The MMX 300s have the widest sound stage. But these have definitely more detail, and they're up close, and they're in your face. So when you throw that DSP, whatever that DSP is, and remember, there's only off and on. There's no like levels or choices. But when you put that DSP on with a headphone like this, you get like an echoey reverb room acoustic V shape. It's like pouring a buttery Alfredo sauce on all your, not at just music. I could absolutely see this is coming for a gamer standpoint because you play a game and usually games are very dry. Games that dry being there's not a lot of, there's some echo and there's some reverb, but it's always toned down because I don't want it to sound stupid. I have, if I'm gonna switch to the optical in a second actually, I keep a tab open here. Realistic combat sounds in squad until I find a better one to do actual game sounds. So I'm going to take that, which is playing. I'm gonna flip that switch down to optical, which will crash that. And now that should allow me to play Sugar Us here. And a beta, if I close that and close this, and then I play this, which I hope it's gonna work and not be weird. Are you gonna be weird? Origin G2, which is the correct way to get the output out. I have to refresh the tab. Give me a second. Because now I'm playing... I'll shut off the DSP. Okay, DSP shut off. And this is a recording of the game squad. I love the game squad. And it's just... Explosions and footsteps and bullet whizzes and things like that. Things that gamers care about. Oof. Which, by the way, just putting a real good game on real audio file, and I could play this all I want because it's not copyright. Unless someone copyrights the sound of gunfire. I could make a hashtag joke out of that so easy, I'm not going to. So I'm hearing wind and I'm hearing gunshots, and then I put on that DSP. And everything moves and comes alive a little more. So I think this is designed for this, for what I'm hearing right here, and I'll Future Zeos, link this video in the description. Because it's it's one of the better ones i found that's just sound. I just want sounds from a game. I don't want to hear assholes saying, Oh, we're, we're coming around the corner. Why'd you fuck it up? I just want to hear, I want to hear the game. I want to sit here and hear. Yeah, it adds a, it adds a wet, a thick, wet brush to the sounds. Now, Squad already sounds amazing. But you put that on and you got a little bit more reverb on things. You got a little bit more low end. It really... And the fact that they designed it for this and then 
you put it on music and it sounds great there too. Like on certain music, it really is like, wow. I'm not a huge, like I said with the IFI Zen, I'm not a huge fan of like EQing and bass boosting. But if you're fucking up my sound, do it in a way that makes me enjoy it. And tell me I am. It's, also, it's an on-off switch. It's like, you're, we're going to DSP some shit. You ready for it? Yes, do it. Boom. Explosion. Bullet whiz. Boom. Everything has more depth to it. So, it's worth an extra 50 bucks just for that switch. I don't know. Actually, hold on a second. I don't know if that switch affects the output. It does. Yeah, you could definitely hear it. Oh, so um, I'm gonna pause that for a second now. We'll go back to her for a bit. So now I have it inputting with the fiber optic, which is another option. I'm a big fiber optic fan. I could just power this externally, either through the plug or through USB. I'd probably end up getting the power transformer using an optical. When you do it optical, though, this microphone, this ain't doing shit. It, it, it can't send it through there. So you'd end up going with the microphone out and going either into something like this, which is just a shitty little USB sound card, just to get it over there, or if you have onboard audio, onboard sound card to find for taking microphones in. The benefit of this is really when you go USB, it becomes your entire sound device. And it sounds good. All those numbers I read, you can hear them. Output impedance and fucking total harmonic distortion plus noise. This is a no joke audiophile amplifier in DAC. It just happens to be steered towards anime girls with guns. AKA gamers, which is what I imagine all gamers look like. I'm sorry if that's what makes me feel better on the inside. When they're cursing you out on Xbox Live and that's what they look like, it's make your life a whole lot better. Um, that's it. I'm going to link to this on Amazon. It actually is on Amazon, but it's sold through them on Amazon. So check that. It's also available on Mayflower's site. It might be cheaper through the site. It might be cheaper through Amazon. It depends on what day of the week it is when you're talking to me right now. Or when I release it live versus when I release it to my patrons or my subscribe star people. Substars. I'm going to call them substars. Because patrons and substars get to see this video weeks early. Or at least a week early. And if they want one, they're going to get one. Because there's no rush. Because Zeos' review isn't out yet. But as soon as you're seeing this public, if you're waiting and just a guy on YouTube, and you're this far into this video, you're already fucked up. There's going to be a three-week wait. Minimum. Four week wait. Gamers are going to suck this thing's dick. And I'm going to show them where the zipper is. So, download that wallpaper, crop it, put it on your phone, say Z Review sent you. Um, click the link to buy this. If you want to support this channel and its efforts, if you want to see these videos early, if you want to have access to ask me any questions you want, $5 tiers on both Subscribestar and Patreon do that. Um, if you want a little bit more direct help, if you want to be in the behind the scenes for this channel, I have a $10 tier on both of those that lets you into a private Telegram chat, 24-7 access to my phone. I will ignore you for like three or four hours at a time. But then I get in there and people are talking amongst themselves, d discussing this, discussing that, discussing, hey, this or that wall. But they love it. They're great, great, great people. They actually know more than me, guaranteed combined. Some people live in the UK. Some people live in Alaska. There's, everybody's everywhere. And then there's uh, tiers above those five and ten where you can strut your stuff and be a cool person please be a cool person being above those tiers is what really gets me into buying the next thing and you could tell me what should i review next what should i release next i'm trying to figure out the real things i don't want to give people too much control over my life but if you're paying me you know everybody's a whore on the internet um links to this links to that links to those hifiguides.com will have this probably on it and the hi-fi guides forum the Hi-Fi Guide forums will have links to things like this. A uh, couple, maybe I'll make a whole other section for just like gaming peripherals or gaming specific. Audio file gaming, that's it. That'll get the crowds rolling in. And this is the next, this is the 2020 iteration of audio file gaming. It sounds good. It has tons of options for connectivity and everything else. And th th what else do you want? 
What else do you want? It's the only way to get into gaming without going like full desktop mic and adding this and you can hook it up to a PlayStation. It does its job and it does it well. Anyway, that's the end of this review. Check out everything I talked about, linked or don't. I don't care. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll try it again. Try again. Get you all to support me. It's fine. Support the channel by sending the video to someone else. I don't care if you support me. Send me to someone you think will support me. And if they don't like me, they could send me to someone I think will support. Eventually, everyone on earth will have seen this. And I'll end up with my, like, number of following. And then we'll all drink the Kool-Aid together. We're going to drink Kool-Aid together. Anyway, peace. I'm not going to make anything else available for downloads. It's all mine. Bunny Girls, though.